What's up guys, welcome back, it's Easy Electronic Channel with you today, and I have another cool item for you, possibly to buy. Um, so, let me just demonstrate it. It's a soldering iron, and that's right, soldering iron. So, let's get into the video, and I'll show you what this baby can do. Alright, so, essentially, uh, what this is, is it's a soldering iron that uh, retails on eBay about 490 Canadian dollars. So it's a unit like this, as you can see. If uh, you guys want to Google this, there you go. So this unit, this particular one, claims to be... A 75 watt unit, which means uh, you can have 75 volts coming up from this tip right here. Uh, really fast heat up time. Um, so as far as I remember, uh, this unit has a heat up uh, time from my testing about five seconds. That is extremely fast. Uh, if you know. Uh, if you hadn't been uh, using just a cheapo uh, soldering iron, the ones you buy in, uh, you know, your source or uh, Home Depot or whatever, those irons take about a minute to heat up, and uh, this one is actually really, really good. Now, the thing I actually had to do is I changed this freaking knob right here to something uh, better quality. Um, it's just, you know, it was just bad. Um, I, I do have the same knobs that I ordered from eBay, so it does use, like, the same knob, but, yeah, I just didn't like the feel, so I changed it to something made in America, and, uh, this one is much better. So, uh, in the next video, we will be actually taking this A part and seeing what makes it work and what makes it not work. But in today's video, uh, this will be just a wrap up of uh, what this thing can do. Uh, so, the quality, okay, let's talk about the quality on this unit, because everyone, everyone wants to know about the quality. Aluminium casing uh, retails about for 10 Canadian dollars or 7 USD on eBay. Uh, relatively cheap, if you say so. Um, they have a silk screen on here. Uh, you got a uh, rotary encoder for your um, pleasure here. Now this thing is supposed to click. I have it a little, a little bit tight on there, so it's not clicky. But uh, you can change it with a simple on key. And uh, we have a aircraft uh, connector here, which has four uh, connections. So, uh, two for your heating element, uh, one for your, uh, well, common heating element positive, uh, your sensor for from your th thermocouple inside the thing. Uh, this thing is actually having a thermocouple inside which allows it to control the temperature. And uh, a switch. There's a, a switch in handle, so when you lean it like that, uh, two minutes or so, it's actually adjustable. Uh, you can turn it off and you can set a temperature at which you want to keep the tip. So, you know, you can go as low as 100C, that would be your sweep mode. Actually, a really, really handy uh, thing. I didn't even think I would be using it uh, that often but this became my daily driver if you want to say so so let's take a look at the LCD right here make it dark so you guys can see 
we turn that on and uh, yes it does use an OLED display so you will see some uh, lines on there yeah you guys can see the lines but that doesn't matter so we got the uh, power uh, so here it shows you the power at the moment then it shows you the ambient temperature on there uh, so the preset temp and then the temp from the tip and then this is 200c that's the sleeping um, um, temperature and we have set it to five minutes so every five minutes it will shut off if you have your tip like that i don't have it like that so i i don't have that issue of that thing shutting off for me but uh whenever we set the temperature it makes a beep so let's set it to 300 really really fast uh, heat up uh, temperature on this one I am amazed actually of uh, how fast it goes so we set it to 260 and uh, I'm going to apply some uh, solder on there so you guys can see just about the melting point of solder and it does an amazing job just like advertised so really really pleased with this particular unit uh, build quality is okay it's pretty good software uh, you, know, you know the software is always uh, um, kind of crappy on on these guys but come on it's 90 bucks what are you going to buy a digital uh, a digital soldering iron with an OLED screen plus you have a software on it that, that you can adjust it to your comfort it's amazing uh, the cord the cord uh, seems to be silicone does not melt when we put a 200 and something C 260C on it it does not melt so there you go does not melt uh, relatively good relatively good for the price i mean the heiko uh, retails for 200 and something dollars canadian and uh that thing has a less functionality than this now obviously it's a better quality but uh as far as we are concerned the quality comes from the tap here so uh, you might just end up buying, um, you know, uh, genuine Heiko tips, and uh, you know, there you go. Now check out the quality of that solder. Um, we are a little bit lacking light in this shot, but I think uh, it will be a good representation. You see, we have set to 280C, and uh, yeah, just by touching. You see how good that is? That almost feels professional to me. All right, that that is just so good. I mean, it feels good to have that temperature adjustment. And uh, if you uh, take a look, the solder on there, this is not a hot tip. This is just a tip like that. <laughs> I'm just going to point it with it. But as you see, uh, the solder quality is really, really good. Like once you hit that perfect temperature, it really helps. Really helps. So now let's switch to a different board. Yeah, look at that crusty soldering on there that I did by hand. Um, so, uh, we have the same temperature settings, 280C, uh, we might have to increase it, but I would like to keep it low. So, uh, what we will do is we will try to solder this big trace. Now, can this thing actually keep up? That is the question. So, as you can see, we are soldering on it, I'm, I will move it back and forth like that so you see here um, it, it it has enough power 
but still uh, it's solidifying right after we uh, take the soldering iron away from that spot so uh, we definitely need more heat but uh, a lower temperature is generally more desirable if you want to do that delicate work so now I'm going to increase it to 350 okay so we are at 350 Celsius right now and uh, the tip is much hotter so let's see the difference can you guys see how uh, well it does now you see this area had been heated before so it's really no problem now the problem really comes when you have a um, cold area so for example this capacitor here which is a high uh, thermal mass because there's a lot of solder but really no problem no problem there uh, it does the job really really well as you can see really well no problem whatsoever so as always like it if you like it dislike it if you dislike it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more cool videos like this coming out in the next video we will be carrying this thing apart to see how it works and yeah if you have any suggestions for future videos feel free to tell me down in the comment area and yeah as always i'll see you in the next one that's right <laughs>